Fala galera, vocês estão afim de ganhar skin de graça? Soma Case está com a novidade para vocês, são três códigos para você utilizar e o que vier vai ser seu. Caso não tenha o item que você ganhou, você pode trocar no Mart deles por outra. Eles têm diversas caixas no site para abrir também. E se você quiser retirar seu ganho em dinheiro, você pode transferir por Payer, Paypal ou até BTC. Link na descrição. Just a matter of when the trigger is pulled on that first burst. Down takes the early contact, a huge dink and conversion, but Cadian is quickly there to trade before it all really falls apart for Heroic Bolts and SHZ again. Two critical frags to open things up and then the intelligence from MIBR to slow things right down. Cadian walks right into the awaiting cross, says Dink comes off, he's down to 10 HP as Bolts finds the conversion and Yell finishing away, of course, this time with significantly more firepower to do so. Need to be a little bit cautious of these eagles in place. That nade gets caught on the scenery, does nothing at all. Cadian just to get an opening pick onto SHZ, and now Tessa's Zero in tow could do a lot of work. He's taking tax through the smoke, but the aggression's worked out beautifully. Nico with two on the CZ, and Cadian chiming in with one more. The MP9 and CZ combo working beautifully on the A bomb site. As Cello, well, we said this round needed to be clean and not too expensive. Now it needs to be salvaged from the ashes. He'll go and grab the bomb. He's got to clear out four players. Admittedly, two are tagged up, so potentially room for him to work with. Yeah, definitely a chance. He has been spotted now, though, and they are really not giving him anything at all. Bomb plank comes in. The gap now begins to close. There's, of course, a very well-timed flank here from Stown that will, yep, take him down. So, very well done from Heroic. Once again, uh, a... It's down again. His timing could be everything. He could catch them off guard here with nades in hand or perhaps round the corner at the perfect time to deny the bomb plant. Something along those lines would be so, so good. He's very unsure whether there's a player holding off behind, though. 20 seconds left. Smoke's come in. They've got to make a move. Yell through the smoke. We'll find one. Borup trades back, but immediately dealt with. It's now on to Tessa. He's down. Oh, my goodness. If you could see what we could see. Landing the tag. Go for another... So very close, but not able to get it done. Stown on the backside, though, with a quick double. Surely has sealed this. Cello has to find these remaining heroic players on 20 HP. The toughest ask so far. His timing just a little bit off. Stown is watching for the flank from Scaffold, but it is not going to come on. Oh, a quick switch. Fast B hit so far. Unsuccessful. Very little control to speak of of this B bomb site. Losing another head. Oh, and the crack angle from Stown is so very clean. Borup also chiming in for his second, and I think that will do it. It will indeed, Cade. Um, starting to develop a bit more. MIBR. Hmm. They do have a buy, but it's a stringy one. Few smokes, few flashes. That's about it. I would have been hoping for a Nico taking advantage of some minuscule gaps in the smoke to open things up. Double P from Cadian and Tessez yields yet more blood. Yell. He's heard wandering through these mollies, through these nades. Tessas will rip his head off with the MP9. And Heroic, as quickly as that buy was bought by MIBR, they've taken it away from them. A super clean A ramp hold, making absolutely no mistakes whatsoever. Cello and Bolts left to try and pick up the pieces. Some frags, I think at this point, pretty much necessary to try and just stall what is a blossoming CT economy. Otherwise, this half could get very dire very quickly. Borup, for now, a little bit isolated over on B, but Stown has already rotated in to join him, and there we go. Stown finds the pick, leaving just Cello on that ramp. They are not letting MIBR have anything. Oh, so much information, though. And that's a bomb as well onto Bolts. Yep, indeed, going to take him down. The bomb is right around the corner. How do MIBR react? They're trying to gain some control to make up for that which they have lost. Certainly easier said than done. I really like it from Heroic as well. They're actually moving away from that angle and just giving MIBR the spooks, making sure that they're not, you know, pushing into potentially four players or getting bested by a clean flash around the corner. Very smart play from Nico. Just falling off, not giving anything away at this point. 
Already a man up. Tess is on the tight angle as MIBR pretty much shepherded into this A hit now. Plenty of presence here for Heroic. Hot flash in for Tesses. Can't quite line them up. Too many targets. Not enough time. And Borup is caught. Looking completely the wrong way. Somehow, some way, MIBR have brought themselves back into this one. A man advantage on the retake. And they're in p perfect afterplant positions. They really are. A man stuck up the catwalk. Someone behind the sandbags and two players on the ramp. Double AWP retake required for Heroic. I think if they don't get a pick soon, this is a done deal. Pop flash is perfect. Cello takes out one and the second. One fight far more popular than the other. And with four players here and a fifth to join shortly, Heroic are going to have a hell of a time holding this A bomb. Yo. Needs to be careful. They know that he's here. Nice nade in. That's just me while breaking the silence to find the first and Borup. Up close and personal on the smoke gets a double. MIBR once again seem to have met the immovable object that is the heroic defense. And it is not looking good. I don't think anything's going to give here. Clean little spray down onto Tessis though as he uh, questions his life decisions. We'll get traded. All left on to yell there for with 25 seconds, no bomb, 30 HP, no utility, no head armor even. So he's, he's pretty much screwed is what I'm trying to say. But at the same time, I think he realizes saving this bullet is not really worth it. In and around the smoke, manages to fly the double. That's a lot of damage done, but runs out of ammo and is soft enough for Borup to finish off. Still not able to perform well in it. Heroic picking up the pace, this relentless T side of a top tier team. MIBR will have to adapt quickly, and I'm not sure they will be ready for it. The Force by so far doing nothing for them. Double kill comes through from the UMP of Borup. The bomb goes down. I think they might just opt to save what they have into the next. At this point, I don't think they have a better choice. Yell, taking out Cadian, trying to make it as expensive as possible, but... This round is a done deal. No defuse kit, no utility. They're not getting back into that V-bomb site. So keeping a couple of deagles, some armor behind them to at least make the next round a speed bump that Heroic will have to go over is not a bad call at all. Because as you said... To do so, Borup though just bounding in towards B. Goodness gracious. Cello very ready for it, however. Double spray down for him. Call for the rotations. A Galil, a MAC-10 still in play, as well as, of course, only three players right now for Heroic. Really not making it easy on themselves, but you never know. A cheeky B-Rush, it might work. We might just catch them off guard and really, really send them packing, but not the case. MIBR not so easily foiled quite yet. Tess has recovered an AK, meanwhile. Oh, my goodness, and... Bolt gets impatient. Oh, yes, indeed. Could walk straight into his crosshair. That's exactly what has happened. Leaves him low HP. And still, of course, a solid man advantage. Is it a fair trade for the information? We're about to find out. Stown takes down another. Danico out in the open. He needs more than one from here, to be honest. It's such a dangerous spot if he gets traded. But he might not even get the chance to do so. They're opting to drop back towards A. SHZ. Has to do something here. Has to stop them. First, Tessis walks right into the cross, says the health just isn't there. Nico, he was waiting. He was meant to be the man who catches the rotations. Instead, with 28 seconds left, he's going to go and try and find what damage he can. Heroic did well to find those two picks after Cello dismantled the early rush. But now, really falling apart for Heroic. It will be a sixth round on the board with 10 seconds left. Nico... A critical decision to make. He's going to try and stick it out with that AK-47. Plenty of cash, of course, on the side of Heroic after such a strong start. Keeping those SMGs up. A little bit of a bonus. Maker on the sort. Big gap on the left-hand side. Gets savvy to the push. Spots the head. Oh, oh but Tessis knows his angles. That is so damn clean. The five on three. Now looking very, very good for Heroic. Such a strong position to be in, with Stown still lurking down on that B-bomb site. It's just SHZ. That's all they've got. He will deal with Borup, and actually the bomb will make his rotation back around. Cello will have his chance again. He's got the first, but Kadian is finally there to trade, and Donoko 
They lost it of him once. Can they do it again? Tess says needs to find this kill and he won't. Donoko on the org will find the double spray down. Nico with 20 seconds left is thrown into the 1v2. This should have been a dead set round. And now with 11 HP, Nico has got to try and find a surely impossible clutch. Donoko will so much work here. They can't really afford to commit. Also, the fact that the A-bomb site's going quite well for them at the moment, right? So why bash your head against the wall when you've already downed the other flank? Tanoko, meanwhile, pushed up at scaffold. They might not expect this. They kind of do, actually. So clean little peek from Borok. Does well to stay alive. The nade chunking him out a little. And Tessis goes, thank you very much, on a silver platter. Beautiful. Tanoko had no idea. And, well, Yell going to get smoked out. Three on two for Heroic. They really cannot afford to lose this in a, a lot of different ways on the MIBR side of things. But concede it, they shall. And save the remaining two players. Leave them alive. Make sure they have an AWP into the next round. That's fair, but Heroic, thanks to their super strong start here in the second half, still firmly in control. Just two rounds away from taking the 2-0 as well. Lost bonus, I don't think it's going to be much for MIBR. It's going to start to get a little bit awkward. At least an AWP and an AWP on the server. They should be able to scramble a buy around it, I think, looking at the economy of the remaining players. Heroic finally sticked to the landing. Finally to, to prevent his team from taking their opening loss of Summit 7. But Donoko with just an XM trying to get aggressive goes down to Tessa's early. Can't make it work. Cello again. Big trade over on the B bomb site. Just seems to have this ramp angle on lock. But his A site teammates are falling slowly but surely. They've actually wrapped him in mid and don't think he's all that aware of how many angles he's vulnerable from. Sprayed down through the boxes by Cadian. Four on two. MIBR almost forced into this, but make it one as Stown is already cutting away the rotations. This is so well played from Heroic. And Yell, with no money behind him, his AWP in his hands, has got to try and hold on to it. Let's find one. Gets away from the molly. But they are on the hunt. They are not letting this man get away without a fight, that is for sure. Tess needs to peak at the right time, and he does. Clean headshot to take him down. Right, Cello, the one-man army over on B. You see it from time to time. An awful lot that one person can hold down that B bomb site. The A site, however, is, is just way too vulnerable at this point. Nice little headshot from Yell to give them a chance into this round. The nades come raining in, and he just about survives. So they have the man advantage, but very, very loosely. The man advantage. I think the firepower is still favouring Heroic, however, as they just back out of that initial contact. Looping back around. Donoko on the tight angle. Don't even see an XM on Vertigo. Makes it work, though. Manages to find the one-for-one -one trade. At least trades his own death well. Keeps his team a man up. Heroic. Really only one site they can commit to at this point. It's the one they've been having the most success on. Queuing up on that A ramp. Stage Z looking for the flash. Popped into it. Won't spot anyone out just yet. With 40 seconds left, Heroic will be committing to this. And it becomes a matter of timing. Yell already starting to think about that flank. Tess says needs to clear SHZ out of this tight angle. But flashes over the top are making it difficult. Will finally find the frag. That should open things up for the bomb plant unless Nico gets taken down through the smoke and Cadian has dealt with the flank. There's just two bodies remaining, Cello and Bolt. We need a hero play from one of them. Bolt is trying to land it. Cello has found one. And with 12 seconds left, they've got to get this bomb down. Cadian deals with the close player and it's all on Cello. 1v2 swinging into it, desperate to find anything he can. cadian has got him locked in, misses the shot. But they're stuck on this bomb site, the T side. At least he's kept them close, but that's not enough. 16 to 9 will be the final scoreline.